All right, I got something here. Mike never seen. Mike's waiting for it. Here, look, check this out, buddy. Mm. I got me a Starling engine. Oh yeah, yeah that's pretty neat. Oh well, my, uh, my patron patrons gave me that. Solar engines. Yeah, it's meant to be a solar engine, but uh, it runs on uh, on heat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tim Timothy Gat gave me that. Pretty cool. He's seen he's seen that Starling engine I had that video on, but uh, it's pretty cool. Let me get you. What I what I've been doing is is starting it on this this butane burner. You know, you grab grab a piece of block down here. There's a a five by uh, three and a get them two little flat ones there. Hmm. This here and and maybe that Let's other see. one down there. Oh, this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they ought to work. Hmm. Actually, they're probably the same height. Hmm. I don't know if that's gonna work. Okay, then I got this uh, sterno can. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Set that right. out of there. I think so. I think it'll work. All right. All right. You know what? Uh, what's I gonna say? Oh, don't don't, don't do drop that. It. Don't drop it. Yeah. That's probably what you're gonna say. Yeah. Something like that. There, yeah. As long as the. the the thing ain't hitting. That'll work. That's true. All right. Well, there you go. Uh, like I said, you got to start it with this and then then throw that under there. All right. Well, we'll light the light the sterno first. What do you know about that, Mike? Because I I know you you've never had one, but I know you've read a lot about all kinds of engines. Well, it's a heat engine. Um, so there's uh there's there's two there's two pistons here. One is the power piston. And one's the displacer. Mm -hmm. It's not the displacer is not really a piston. I guess you could call it a piston. So this is the power piston over here on this side. And then this is the displacer piston. So how these work uh, is you heat you heat this end, and you you know you start the you spin the engine to get the cycle going. So what happens is the displacer piston when that moves forward, it's, it literally is what it what the name implies a displacer. So that moves from this area where the fins are up into this area and it it occupies the the space that the air within here would have occupied that air gets pushed back to the area where the fins are then it it cools and it contracts and it there's a, a like a crossover port through here and that you know that's the obviously the air, when the air in here contracts a vacuum is formed and it pulls the power piston up into the cylinder like this right that's what i was going to say it runs more on vacuum well than, it runs on pressure right no well, i think it runs on on pressure as well because when the displacer moves back right the displacer is moving back now so all that cooled air that was here is forced into the hot section right when that happens the air expands and watch where the power piston is now the power piston, the air is expanding and it's forcing the piston back out. So you, it's really double acting. Mm -hmm, so right. yeah, you know it acts. It's all. It's it almost you could think of it as like a steam engine. Instead of injecting steam on opposite sides of the piston, you're sucking the piston in and then you're pushing it back out. You're sucking it in. You're pushing it out hmm. because the the air is getting heated and then cooled and heated and cooled. So it's the same air. Let me let me put it that way. There's no. There's no intake and exhaust of air. It's the same air in the system. It's just getting it warmed up, and it expands, and then it gets cooled, and it contracts. It's the same, right. the same molecules of air. Then you know. But yeah, the Sterling engine we seen had a, a, a water cooler on it, sort of. What was going on there? And it was also the, the one we seen was was sort of standing up like that, right? Yeah, well, that, that was that was a pumping engine. Well, the other way it was standing up like that, right? Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, exactly. It was similar to that. So that was a water pumping engine. And, and that engine would develop much more power than this one. One, because it's much larger. But two, I think the idea with those is that the, the water that it's pumping, you know, that the, you're, you're actually flowing to the work, uh, actually works to help cool the, the half of the cylinder, which we have fins here. This, this is air-cooled, but the other one would be water-cooled. So you have a much greater temperature differential between the, the hot area, which was heated by a fire, and the cool area, which is cooled by water, so you can you can develop a much greater you develop much greater power from that because your the temperature differential is greater. Right. So okay. I'm no scientist, but I'm no. Sure I know, like I say, I know, like I say, I know you don't even have one or never had one, but no. I know how much you read. All right, let's let's uh, start up. Okay. I've had it running before. It's pretty cool. I like this here. Yeah, it's it's lit. It's lit, Mike. Is it? I can't, <laughs> yeah. I can't tell. It is. You can't tell with the alcohol. 
Like yeah. I say, I don't think it'll get hot enough for it to start this thing. No, probably not. But 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 it's hot. It stays hot enough to keep it running. It's it's, it's on there. Can you, you the flames going through? Yeah, I, you I can't, can't see, it. see it. No, you can't see it, but it's okay. there. Okay. Well. You hold the base there. I got it. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let it get put a little bit of heat to it. Yeah. When I was starting, I was I was I've been heating up the middle. I don't know if I, that made any difference or what. I don't know. It actually got cherry red when I did it. it looked like it looked like it almost wanted to go. Almost. Yeah, I was gonna say try hitting the middle like right there. Not that, like I say, not that I knew what I was doing, but I was having pretty good luck with it. There you go. See, now you could probably take that off of there, Mike, and that, what do you call it, a sterno or a Bunsen burner? I think that would be enough to keep it going. But w w with me, this, I've had this thing going, and it would be running for like maybe a half hour or so, and then all of a sudden it would slow down and shut off. Well, that's probably because the thing got saturated with heat. So right now, the only reason this thing is working is because th this area is hotter than this area, but once the heat conducts through, through to the this die cast aluminum area uh, enough that the temperature differential is not sufficient to keep it running, it'll probably just stop. You know, it even has a cool little sound to it. Yeah. <laughs> just like chugging along. Yeah, it doesn't seem to want to accelerate any further than that. You know, I don't know why, but sometimes it would get fast, sometimes it wouldn't. Like right now, it looks like it wants to slow down and stop. But like I say, these are these are supposed to. This one's designed to run off of solar. Oh, I think I'm melting your rubber foot there. Oh. Oh. All right, I think we better. Uh, I'm burning your engine down here. Uh. <laughs> oh well, that was fun while it lasted. Oh yeah. Huh. Yeah, you know, that's uh, not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll have to uh, we'll come up with a different... We'll, come on, take yeah, that, yeah. we'll take them feet off next time about that. Yeah, you know what? I bet if we take these feet off, make a little stand so you can just put that under there. Yeah. That's something, something we can put at the show without worrying about burning the tent down. <laughs> sure, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, that's good. I, I want to thank Timothy Gack for sending this to me. Like I say, he's, he's one of my, my uh, best patrons. He's been with me the longest, and he uh, stands up and... Uh, he supports the channel, so thanks to him, and uh, we're going to have some fun with this. I right, always say, buddy, enough fun? We've got enough fun. Enough <laughs> All right. All right. Before, the, before we burn the garage down. All right. See you guys later.